Hi guys, um, so here's the next journal. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be slowing down a little bit because I'm back to work, back to teaching, so I won't be able to complete them as quickly. I'll just be doing them in my spare time. Um, I got this beautiful tapestry upholstery fabric and I really didn't want to do much else with the outside because it just matches the journal so beautifully and I didn't want to cover it up. Um, you've got a tassel here, you can take that off, it's just with a safety pin. Um, I have pressed and captured some flowers in there. That's just a weed, but I think they look like snowflakes, they're so pretty. Okay, um, you've got some beading and some buttons, vintage buttons, and another little resined flower there. Um, that's Jip Softler. Okay, so basically this is just um, to protect her. She's huge and she needs some assistance closing and doing up her buttons to her pants. Um, this is a silk scarf that I have um, used for the closure. So you could, I've left that open so that you could slide something in there if you wanted to. And this is her, this is the main event. Um, she's chocker, I can't help myself. My journals always seem to be absolutely packed over the brim, but nobody seems to mind. There's lots of ideas to share in there, which is great. <clears throat> Just move the cover out of the way. Okay, so um, we have another little resined whoop, charm there. It's a bit of gyps softler and a little bit of that same flower that's on the front. Um, we've got key we've got a little tag in here because that's my um this is my third journal so you'll find threes throughout um <clears throat> this is the copied version of uh this piece of ephemera in saying that the real one is on the inside and we'll get to that um this is just from a wedding dress my wedding dress I didn't want to cover um, the signature binding this time um, simply because I like it blue um, and I did it through lace so I'd already had some lace on the underneath of it. There's the back, that's the closure um, and I often use this same closure um, for my journals. It just allows for um, expansion for when you put more work in it um, and it allows it to close nicely. Okay. So here's the first page. Um, this is a little fold out so I'll have to try and get this whole thing in and I'll move it around so that you can see it. Just opens like that. We will move her over. I've got a whole lot of um, tags in here because that's what I designed it for. They're all blank on the back um, just so that you've got a tag holder but there's a few in there to start using. Um, you can slide the tags under the lace as well as um, behind each one of these pieces of paper. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six tags in total. Um, that one there is my mixed media watercolour and gold drawing ink. This is a little present from New Zealand. Um, it's sea glass that I collected from Waiho Beach on the east coast of New Zealand. Um, and I tried to put one of each colour that I found. So yeah, little little present from New Zealand for whoever whoop, chooses to um, buy this journal. The blue is the hardest to find. I'll put that back in there when I've finished. Um, I had a little bit of room on this side, so I'll show you what that is. Um, so over here we've just got some collage, a little bit of embossing on the paper there. Uh, over here 
we have a journaling card up the top in a pocket, genuine stamp, and this one here opens and you've just got a little extended journaling space there with chapter three, third journal. And that just clips back under there. And it folds out again. And that's just another little collage with a little bit of journaling space. And this is a print of one of my original watercolours. Um, it seemed to match this journal colouring perfectly. I decided to do this one in blue. Seems to be my thing. Um, for me, my journals are colour based on a colour and heavily botanical themed. Um, so this here is just a whole bunch, it's got a lavender die cut that I made on the front to make it a bit interesting, um, but it's just a whole lot of different paper that the person who um, owns the journal can use to make their own clusters. Um, some of the papers that I've used in there uh, a little bit of the gel printing that I did, the original. So yeah, there's plenty of space in there to either write notes or rip it out and use it um, to make clusters or little bits and pieces. I'll put that back after. Um, she goes on to the other side as well. So that's the front as you know. Um, over here we've got a belly band with clusters. Uh, just a notebook with some aged papers, another little bit of journaling space in there. I managed to find a stamp that stamps lines um, and I was stoked with that uh, because it means that I can now stamp on the back of paper so that there's more journaling room for writing if one wants to. Um, over here, this is cute, genuine ephemera. Um, it's just a page out of the Children's Encyclopedia, and it's a page on Lewis Carroll, famous writer. I thought that was quite cute to add. A um, little bit of die-cut honeycomb there, chapter three. <laughs> so you'll notice that all throughout. That's quite a... Um, significant pocket there. You've got a resined butterfly and the definition of branch. Okay, we will close her back up. That is just the beginning of this journal. Sorry if it takes me a while to get through. Okie dokie. Uh, so resined flower there, piano, pianola roll paper there and a cluster. A little bit more of that honeycomb die cut there. Definition of what flora is. Um, you have a bookmark that I have made. On the end of it you have a bumblebee and on the top you have a lotus. I actually have um, three lotuses tattooed on my back um, in different stages of bloom because I love the story of that flower and how it blooms from the depths of the mud. Um, just a journaling card. Um, sorry, a uh, floral botanical card there it is stuck down there's no um, pocket over here I have printed on some genuine music paper um, just a vellum butterfly that I cut out and a ruffle uh, you've got some journaling space here um, that's just on the music paper and I've just added a little bit of paint over it so that it's uh, easier to write on and it's disguised the music notes a little bit more Genuine stamp here, resin butterfly here, and a number three. Um, this came out beautifully, and I do need to do a tutorial on this. Um, I have been asked, and I promised that I would. That's just the printing onto canvas um, using an in inkjet paper, and then I have added water and stamping and splatters just to bring that out a little bit more that's on the white side of the canvas and then printing on the back of the canvas as well almost looks like a painting i love that as well 
so that's the full piece there just got a little cotton embroidered doily there that's the other side a little bit of lace added um, more journaling space here um, resined label pianola roll with I managed to get three with wording which was great and just a little resined dangle up here and an arrow or pianola roll paper um, that's another one of my original watercolours. Um, I've covered it in tea bag paper though because it wasn't quite the right blue. The other one was perfect. This was a little bit more turquoise so I've just matted that out a little bit. Um, you could add a collage to that and just use it as a background. Uh, this is a journaling card there made from an old envelope. Um, this is a really cool word and I've decided I'm going to put more words into uh, my journals. Um, aesthete. Um, it's a person who understands and enjoys beauty. Uh, you've got a pocket over here. Um, this one I have not put anything in that is completely clear at the moment. Um, there's some coffee dyed and stamped paper. Uh, this here is a removable tab. Just use memories so that you could put that wherever you wanted to in the journal. It doesn't have to stay on that page. A little bit of texture paste and stenciling with stamping ink. Um, just to give it a little bit of texture on coffee dyed paper. Uh, coffee dyed paper and just a little envelope to put whatever you would like in there and another little tag and this one here page topper is genuine stamp magnet so it just clicks on there like that another little cluster when you take that off you've got more journaling space and you've got another little envelope in there to hide some little secret bits and pieces this one here just some journaling cards with some journaling space on the back and you could remove that quite easily with a Phillips screwdriver and use those separately. I do like to slide two in and leave the other one kind of hanging so that it can do its swinging round thing. Uh, I just got a little specimen card here, a bit of journaling space. edging of a beautiful crocheted um, cotton table runner that I found. Um, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper with a stamp, another little resined flower. This is the other side of the envelope pocket, another little lotus there. A little cluster and in there I've just put some um, some note paper over this side you have a little scrap book just a little mini one lots of journaling space in this one and another journaling card there. Another resined butterfly. Um, this is genuine ephemera, just an old envelope. You could make something out of that. It's got a nice clear window, quite unusual. I haven't seen an oval one like that with rounded corners and just an aged postcard there with, oops, 
a genuine stamp on it. Really um, love how this isn't just for whoever would like to buy this journal. It seems to give other people ideas, which is why I look at journal th flip throughs as well. Um, you've got a resin die cut here and a little cluster and just a resin tag. More journaling space with a little bit of mixed media and a cluster. Um, over here, coffee dyed paper stamping and just a another space to do some more journaling. I try to make a balance so that if this is a journal that somebody buys that they actually want to do something with, um, there's lots of room to write. But also, uh, some people just like to collect them as a piece of art and leave them as is. So I like most pages to have something on them. I don't like them to be completely blank. Um, I stamped that and then I just coloured it in with coloured pencil. And I quite liked how that came out. I haven't done that before. A little cluster, um, more journaling space, more journaling space, and coffee dyed paper with a cluster there, little resin label. Um, over here, little dangle, and another journaling card in there, and that one does come off. So um, that's got a paper clip in there so that that can slide on anywhere you want it to in your journal. Love this quote, good old Pablo Picasso. Art is never finished, only abandoned, which I think is great for these junk journals. And I have a dangle on there. Give you a little bit of a close-up of that. A little bit more texture paste stamping and uh, some journaling space. A die cut there with some mixed media of my own under there. This is one of my favourite pages. Um, so you've got a cluster there and another journaling card there. This is vellum paper that I've printed onto and just another little scrappy notepad. Plenty of pages to write in there. Um, this is Secret Pocket. So that has been made so that it looks like it's not part of it. You can put whatever you want in there. It's a nice deep pocket. And she just slides back up and the little butterfly goes under there to close her. <laughs> that was fun to make. Um, another little dangle. Some nice blank journaling space, resined flower with a cluster and a side tuck and genuine music paper. America, my country, tis of thee. And I have not aged that whatsoever. Every stain on that is completely original. So I'll be a bit careful with that one. Um, over the page. That is just a print of my coffee dyed paper, um, the negative of a, the stencil die cut that I've used. Um, that is tissue paper that I've made myself using lunch wrap and putting that through the printer. So I might need to do a tutorial on that one as well because that was great. That means you can have tissue paper, well similar to tissue paper, whatever you like. Um, hydrangea stamp and just a little key attached to the bottom there. Move up a little bit. Uh, side tuck. This is original. It was in um, the weeds of New Zealand and it's really cool advertising piece from New Zealand. Once that's gone, that's gone. That is all yours to do whatever you would like with. Over here that's from the same book that I got that out of. Um, you've got a laminated weed from New Zealand with a rose petal. Poem. 
She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron. And another journaling card, postcard there. Seriously, I put too much stuff in these journals, I think. <laughs> but I just get carried away. And I love them to be chocker. And I love the texture. And I love the crunchiness of pages. And I love all the stuff hanging out the side. Uh, oh, missed a page. So there's a die cut set in the middle of that page there. That's the back of that tissue paper. That, well, faux tissue paper made on lunch wrap that I printed. Um, love this. And that's the other side of it as well. So completely see-through. And here is the original page from the front. I was showing my brother. <clears throat> um, he actually said, did you stamp that? Nope, those are original stamps on this piece of paper. And I just love it. It's called Fly Singing Bird. Someone's written on it. I don't know how to do music. I wish I did. I wish I knew how to play the piano. But that is something that is beyond me learning music, unfortunately. So I will pop that carefully back in there. Made a little slide. And there is another little tag in there. I will have to fix that one. She's stuck at the moment when I stuck that on. Another little resined butterfly. And over here you have a pocket. And that is the snowflake weed. Don't know what it's called, but I absolutely love it. And I'm sure you will too. And <clears throat> resined stamp there. Um, that's not genuine ephemera, but you can do what you like with it. Um, also, not genuine button card. I made that look like it, obviously, as we do, and sewed some vintage buttons on it that I got from an opportunity shop. And then you have a crunchy, scrunchy envelope. Love that sound. Um, and you've just got a whole heap of um, vintage buttons in there um, that are from at least the 1970s because they are from my mum's stash that I stole. Technically didn't steal. She did say I could have it. Um, she's a bit of a squirrel collector like me. Never throws anything out. I think if you're a crafter and you do something that's as diverse as a junk journal, you need to collect all you can. And you have a pocket in there. More journaling space there. This is a page from the weed book from New Zealand. Um, this is similar to that flower, but I think it was a little bit fresher. So it still had the little leaves on it. Don't quote me. It could also be a different variety but I just loved the the back of that it almost looks like a flower itself front and back journaling page coffee dyed stamping this is the other side you've got a pocket in here and I've just put a journaling card there you go see how the flowers as at parade, under their colours, stand displayed, each regiment on order grows, that of the tulip, pink and rose. <laughs> you could put whatever you want in there, lots of space. And last page, we're almost done. I'm sorry if it's taken so long. Uh, you have a nice scrappy notebook pad there. Like I say, heaps and heaps of room to do whatever you want to with this, but enough detail that you could just keep it if you wanted to or give it away make a gorgeous heirloom to hand down and in the back here I've just got a die cut stencil um, you could use this it's just from an encyclopedia a couple of little bits of paper and that's just a little pocket that's not attached with a definition of a flower 
bulb in there and another little piece of paper and she's done I did it and hopefully it didn't take too long <laughs> only about half an hour I'm doing pretty well with that okay well there she is um, I hope that you enjoyed the flip through and my next one I will have already started working on different color scheme again um, and I will put all my little bits and pieces back into the journal and then I shall post her up so that everyone can see and enjoy hope you got some ideas from that um, I always get ideas from you guys when you post yours so it's nice to share have an awesome day bye